Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I've just posted something about uh, Forex brokers, Forex trading, and how corrupt it is and how much of a scam it is. I'm not going to name names here, but I've been following a lot of the Forex guys, uh, and a lot of what's been happening is there's a lot of bucket shops out there that are being called uh, brokers. A lot of them are not registered with anything like an SEC or any kind of government regulation. Maybe they are, but it, it's a joke. There's a lot of scams that go out there. Um, so I just wanted to give you some pieces of advice. If you're using a platform like MetaTrader, NinjaTrader, or some other popular uh, platform, including TradeStation, I just want you to know that you're very limited on what you can do on the trading side. There's two things that you need to be concerned with. First is your data and what your broker is potentially de doing behind the scenes with your trades. What goes on basically is let's say if you put out a trade of whatever kind of security that you want to trade on, they'll put out a trade that will go against you. They want to make sure that you lose money. You're going to pay for the broker fee and they're going to make money on the negative spread. So as a result, there's a lot of bucket sh shops out there. I mean, you could go to a lot of, of the popular um, uh, forums that specialize in Forex. They're all out there. I mean, it's a job. Now, when it comes to the data, obviously when you use a platform like uh, MetaTrader or Ninja, your data is going to be pr most likely provided by your broker. I wouldn't trust that in a, in a million years. Um, the reason for that is is that if you're trying to trade on a tick by tick basis, that tick is going to be very crucial to your trade, especially when you try to automate it through, let's say, something like an expert advisor or an EA. Um, so if that data is delayed, um, you most likely will lose out on that opportunity. And again, you won't even know. But again, you should be asking your broker this. So your data is very important. Um, it has to be a clean and very high quality uh, data. Again, I'm not going to name names here, but I'll give you an example. A big player out there, probably one of the largest, provide data if you fund the account with a certain amount of money. Um, they also at the same time will provide free data. Now that data may look cool, but they aggregate it. Now when you look at another broker like, I'll name this uh, broker because they seem to do it the right way, it's called Lightspeed. Um, they don't aggregate the data. So it might be only half a second or a second or even two seconds. But if you compare it to the other broker that aggregates, um, what happens is you could be losing four or five ticks that you could be trading on. Uh, and that is not right. So again, when you're tied in with one platform, namely MetaTrader, that's providing you the data, and then you're also tied in with the execution and where your orders come in. So what does that mean? Well, everything's all piped through one platform. Now, you might ask what are the alternatives? Now, this is the advantages of doing something that I do or my community do, and they're aware of it. I'm educating people. It's they don't have to be a premium member to figure this out. But what I will say is this. I use platforms that are open source. You can look them up. They're there. Um, but the advantages that these open source trading platforms enable you to have is to have multiple data providers, good ones like an IQ feed or an eSignal, that provide good data. At the same time, you can have multiple, uh, we'll call them gateways, uh, to execute your trades on. You don't have to be a high frequency trader to do this or to take advantage of it. It helps but you're no longer pigeonholed with one broker. So you can have two or three uh, brokers that are connected into the same platform, and again, it's only because it's open source, that enables you to maybe take advantage of better execution for this type of order, or for this type of strategy, or for this type of um, uh, algorithm that you're using. And again, that is critical if you want to stay profitable. And this is the reason why something like 90% of all traders 
so so-called traders lose money and they end, lo end up losing their shirts it's because of they don't do the proper research to realize that a lot of these more mainstream platforms have real severe bottlenecks and also their broker some of their brokers I'm not gonna name names I don't need lawyers breathing down my back are corrupt just look up the word bucket shop you'll find them um, and the other thing is is the data you gotta make sure is nice and clean um, so in essence that's what I'm wanting to let people know about and this especially happens in the world of Forex so you gotta be aware of what you're getting involved with um, I'm hoping this really helps you out you got questions about it let me know if you're asking me for specific specific brokers don't bother because I'm not gonna answer on those I would rely on you to do your own research using Google look through all the popular forums that specialize in Forex and post questions or, or just do simple searches you'll find them over and out